Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you exactly what I do. Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to kind of take you behind the scenes and give you a sneak peek into what I do every day. Okay. Now this isn't going to be a full comprehensive thing of what I do the whole day. Just kind of in the morning when I'm listing cards and that kind of thing. And I just wanted to give you a little, you know, view of what it's like to be a real reseller. And uh, hope you might enjoy that. So let's get into it. Okay guys, here I am on my computer. And I'm in my seller hub. And I'm just going to kind of try to take you step by step of the process I go through. Now this isn't for everybody. This is my process. You can run your business the way you, you know, list how you, you know, do pictures and that kind of thing. So I just thought I'd do this just to give you an insight as to what it's like in my world, and uh, you know, when I start every morning. Okay. So what I usually do is start with a card, and I'm gonna start with this one right here. It's in Florida. It's a, a nice linen card. And one of the things I started doing recently to speed things up. So I could list more is I've been grabbing cards all by the same state and I try to get them all in the same era like this is a linen oops it's a linen in Florida so I would grab a bunch of cards that are linen. oh I'm having a good day I told you this was going to be non-scripted goodness here we go <laughs> all right so we're going to start here. I'm going to put this one in my scanner. Can't see the scanner. It's off to my right here. And we're going to bring up the software. Right here. This is the ScanSoft, uh, ScanSmart software that comes with the scanner. I have an Epson ES400 uh, document scanner. It scans both sides uh, simultaneously within like a millisecond. And if you'd like to pick one of these up, uh, I get them on Amazon. There's a link in the description. And... Um, it is an affiliate link. It'll help out the channel. I appreciate it. But we bought uh, two of these, actually. So they really help the business um, speed things along. Because I used to take photos before. And that's, you know, another video. But uh, we're going to start here. And I'm just going to click on Scan. And it's going to scan the item. It's going to scan the uh, postcard. There it goes. All right. And uh, I'm going to sleeve it. Got my little penny sleeves here. I'm going to sleeve it, and then I'm going to put a sticker on it with a SKU number. Okay. A little SKU code. And however SKU, you know, whatever SKU code you want to use, that's up to you. I use an alphanumeric SKU code. It's PC, and then there's a, a number. So that's how I'm able to find the cards really quickly. And so I'm going to lay that down. And then we're going to go next. And I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> and then what I've got this redirecting to is a folder on my external hard drive. And um, I'm going to type in PC. And that's uh, 1973. That's the next SKU number. I'm just going to hit enter. What that's going to do is that's going to put it right in the folder. I have it, I have it redirecting right to the folder. And then here's something that I do that some people may not do because they may feel like it's a waste of time. But being a professional photographer, I like my images to be color accurate. And the reason for that is because I don't want a customer getting a card that they saw on eBay that was oversaturated. And then, you know, they get the card and it doesn't look as nice as it did on eBay. And then they claim that maybe I swapped a card out or something, you know, and it causes a problem. I like to try to match the same color that I see with my human eye. So what I do is I have a program called Photoshop. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have Photoshop. You can have any kind of photo manipulation program. There's a bunch of free ones out there if you want. And what I do is I'm going to open Photoshop. This is already in my folder. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open Photoshop. And I'm going to get rid of these. These were the last card that I did. Okay. I'm going to file and then open. I got a special deal with Adobe. I get uh, the latest version of Photoshop and the latest version of um, Lightroom for like $9.95 a month. Yeah, I got grandfathered in when they started that program. So it's pretty cool. 
because when they first started it they it was crazy they wanted fifty dollars a month the photography community said no <laughs> we're not going to go there okay so i'm going to select these images whoops didn't mean to do that sometimes the sensitivity on my mouse is uh, oversensitive and what it does is it loads the picture into Photoshop rather than brings it up on the screen and then opens it. But the reason why this the back of this card is so yellow is because of the fact that everything is gauged on a what they call a color temperature in photography. Okay, the 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 lower the color temperature, the more um, warmer the light. Okay, it's it's a little technical, and I didn't really want to get into that part of it. But this is basically what the uh, color temperature of the light in the scanner is and that's not what i see on the back of this card i'm on the back of this card this card looks white almost okay so i don't want that to be yellow so all i'm going to do is go over here to image and if you're in photoshop any version of photoshop you, you know you have these tools and then i'm going to go to adjustments and then i'm going to go to hue and saturation okay then what we're going to do is we're going to Bring down what I normally do is I bring down the red channel first. I pull all the red out of it. Well, wasn't much red in that one. It's either it's usually red and yellows. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the yellows down about three quarters of the way down. Now that looks more like what I'm seeing with my human eye on the back of that card. Okay, then all I'm going to do is go up here to file, and then I'm going to do save as. And I'm gonna that I gotta make sure that goes in the right folder because sometimes it doesn't. You gotta watch that. And I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna hit yes and then okay. And that that part is done. Now for something like this, as you can see, there's a scan line here. Um, this happens occasionally when your scanners rollers get dirty. I didn't have the time to clean it this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tool. This is called the spot healing brush tool. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of grab that right here. This takes a second. Okay, I don't always get the scan lines, but just as long as when I, you know, take this out, it doesn't alter the image. There. And I can go probably right there. I don't have to do this on every photo, but just on some. Okay, now what I do is I go to uh, Image, and I go to Auto Color. And that usually color corrects it and that's where i leave it okay as you can see this just takes a few seconds to do and i'm going to go save as and we're going to save over the original file and we're going to click yes and okay now <clears throat> when i'm in a rhythm i can usually rifle through that pretty quick I i'm going a little bit slower today because i'm trying to explain to you how i do it but like i said not everybody does this you know some people just you know take what whatever the scanner settings I mean you can alter the scanner settings too but the scanner doesn't give you as much control as something like Photoshop what Photoshop would um, it you know it doesn't give you controls in saturation or color hue or you know any of those uh, finite controls that can you can really tweak and it doesn't take that long guys you know um, I know time is money in business but this takes like literally for me to go through a card it may take 15 seconds you know okay so I'm done with this now. I've done the I've done the back and I've done the front. Okay, now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my last card um, and I'm going to use that as a template. Okay, so I'm going to go to this one here. This was the last card I did. This is uh, horseshoe palm trees. Okay, and this is one thing you need to be very very careful of. And I've made this mistake recently. When you go in here, you want to do a cell similar. Do not, do not, do not, do not hit revise your item. Because what that'll do is that will copy over the existing, like this is live on eBay right now. What that would do if I filled in new information, that would just copy over that file and just remove it. And then it would be gone and then it would be in my uh, inventory and I, have, I, I would have no idea where it is. Because it's all done by SKU numbers. And um, it would just copy over the file, you know, and uh, delete the other one. So don't, you know, don't hit revise. <laughs> Make sure you hit cell similar. And wait, that, okay, yep, there it is. Now, let's see. Find out what this is. Uh, new overseas highway above Pigeon Key on the way to Key West, Florida. Okay, so that tells me some things I need to change here. According to my title, 
And I'm just going to change this. I'm going to put in Key West. Whoops. West Florida. I've already got there. Okay, and then we're going to put the details of what's on the card. Uh, overseas Highway. Okay, that's a it's kind of a bridge. But I'm going to put in Overseas Highway. I'm going to put in Bridge. What else? Uh, there's cars on there. I'm going to put cars. It's a uh, elevated um, aerial sort of aerial view. So I'm going to type in aerial. I'm going to put it in the word scenic and the word view in there. Beautiful. Three characters left. I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Then what I do is I highlight this. And then I'm going to hit Control C on a PC. Here on a Mac, it's Command C. And then this is very, very, very important, is changing your SKU number. I can't emphasize that enough. Oh, my goodness. How many times that I've forgotten to change the SKU number, and then I had to go through four boxes looking for the card. Okay. And that's why I do it this way, because it, all I have to do at this point is replace, like, one number. There it is. One or two numbers. Okay. This is a linen, so that stays there. Now, I'm going to remove those, and I'm going to retrieve, I'm going to pull the other photos into eBay, pulling down on the shift key, I click on both of them, and then I hit open, and that will load both of my images into uh, eBay. Now, I'm going to start with this one. What I normally do is I usually brighten it up just a titch, like about 10, 11, something like that, and then I'll click on the sharpening tool, and bring it up to about there and then hit save okay that's that way makes it nice and sharp because even though the scanner does a really good job of sharpening i like you know me being a photographer i like things to be like razor sharp so i help it a little and um with this brightening tool i'm just going to bring this up about 10 or 11 about the same and i'm going to click save and that's it okay we're done with that Okay, now, here's something that I started doing recently, very recently, just to kind of speed things up. I'm not putting in all my item specifics. I know we've been through all this with eBay, and I know eBay recommends that you fill in as many item specifics as possible. But, you know, I've uh, communicated with certain uh, people on YouTube who are very big into... Uh, postcard selling very successful and they don't they don't fill in all this item specifics because they believe and I believe that collectors and people looking to buy postcards don't search for those terms if we're ending we end up putting a lot in a lot of information that they're not even searching for so that just takes up time okay so what I do is I'm gonna start up here uh, where is this located the city is Key West Florida so I'm gonna type in Key West for the city Okay, and I got Florida, United States, and the subject is, uh, what is it, um, the highway, I'm just going to put in highway, okay, roads and highways, I'll, that's a default, I'll take that, okay, and then what I'm going to do down here, cities and towns for a theme, and I, I type in original because it is an original card. It's not a reprint. A reprint is like a, um, how can I describe it? It's it's like a, a scene from a, you know, way back when, and they've reprinted it onto a card, and it has a brand new backing. You know, usually with these, there's some defaults in the back because they're used, and that's what makes it an original. But um, without going into too much explanation, what happens is the reprints are just placed on brand new cardstock and it might be a scene out of 1912 but it's on brand new cardstock and that makes it a reprint you know so uh, this constitutes as an original and that's it that's the only item specifics I fill out okay and now I'm gonna go down here click right there and I'm gonna take this title out and I'm gonna control V command V on a Mac I'm going to put the new title in that I copied before. Now, this card is unposted. Mm, yes, it's unposted. 
and that all stays the same, so I don't have to mess with that. Now the price, uh, probably about seven seventy-five on this one, because even though eBay, you know, suggests average sale price was only two seventy-five, I've sold these. I sell these all day long for seven seventy-five. So that's what I'm going by. Okay, and I don't have to worry about anything else. I just scroll down to the bottom and hit listed list item. Boom, we're done. Okay, put that down in my. I've got my little. Um, Got my little tub here. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, this is Fountain of Youth. And this is in St. Augustine. I know where that is. We used to live in uh, Jacksonville. I know where St. Augustine is. And I'm going to put it in the scanner. And we're going to go to the next item. Scan. And I'm going to get a sleeve. Here comes the card. Boom. And I'm going to put another sticker on it. I get these stickers, these little stickers at, locally here at the store. I pay like $1.25 a package for them. And whenever they get them, I buy like five or six packs. Because if you try to buy these things on Amazon, they're like $7.50 a package. Crazy. Okay, so we're going to go next. Now, since I've showed you this once, I'm going to kind of rifle through this a little bit faster. I'm going to go to save. I'm going to go PC 1974. Hit enter. It's going to put it in the folder. And then we go back into Photoshop. We pull these cards out. I'm going to pull those images in. Let me go. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Click and drag. That way you get both images. And just hit open. And... There's the back. And I'm going to go into hue and saturation. It's usually the only colors you have to usually pull out are red and yellow. And sometimes you can pull them out. You can you can click on, see how this says master? That, if I were to pull that out, that pulls out every color. If you have black text on the back of a card, you can use the master. And you can just desaturate everything at the same time. But since I got blue text here... I'm going to go to the red channel first and then pull all the red out and then about half the yellows right about there. Now that looks the way the card looks in the back, you know, to my human eye. And again, we're going to hit file and save as and save over. Yes. Okay, that's done. See how quickly I can do this? And all we I usually do on this is just auto color. Now, sometimes this oversaturates. When it, when it darkens it like that, sometimes it oversaturates it. Now, I'm looking at this. Looking at this card here. And it doesn't look that saturated. So, what I do, so I'll go back in just a second. It takes two seconds, literally. And this is where you can pull down on the master slider. And I'm going to pull it back about 20%. See how that changed? And go right back to it. Uh, save as. And save over. Yes. Okay. Done. That quick. I mean, literally, like 10 or 15 seconds. Okay. Now, this is St. Augustine, Florida. So, we're going to go back to the same uh, one we just finished. And I'm going to hit, uh, click on Create Similar. It's going to bring up that template. And we're going to click right here. And... Take all this out, and we're going to put in St. Augustine, Florida. Okay, now I'm going to look at the card, and it says Fountain of Youth Entrance. And what does this say here? Um, Fountain of Youth, St. Augustine, Entrance. Okay, pretty much the same thing. Sometimes you can read on the back. It'll show you on the, it'll give you some information on the back if you need some more ideas for keywords. And pretty much says the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth. Normally I don't include the word of, but since it's part of that phrase, I'm going to leave it in. And uh, what's it look like here? I'm going to put the word entrance in there. And then there's a horse and carriage. So I'm going to put horse, carriage, 
I can spell. Whoops, got a space there. Carriage. No, that's cartridge. <laughs> Carriage. Cartridge. Okay. <clears throat> and we've got four left, so that's good enough. Space back. Um, I'll tell you what, I can put the word view in there. I always try to put the word view in there if I can, because these are sometimes known as view cards. You know, if they have a view, whether it's a scenic view, an uh, elevated view, an aerial view, a country view, a, a road view, a seaside view, whatever, you know. I usually try to put the word uh, view in there. Okay, I'm going to select that, hit control C, again, change the um, SKU number. <clears throat> now, some people put the SKU number code like at the end of their title. That's fine too. I just choose to use the custom label SKU number. That way, when it comes up on my um, phone or whatever, I can it tells me what the SKU number is. And again, this is a linen, so we don't have to mess with that. Take this out, and we're gonna pull those photos in one after the other. Go back. See how dark that is? That's not the way it was in Photoshop. So basically, I'm going to bring that brightness up a little bit and increase the saturation just a little, and then we're going to sharpen it. Right about there. That's fine. And that looks more like what I'm looking at in my hand. Okay, and this is going to be really dark, so we're going to bring this up as well. Okay. Sometimes you got to bring it up quite a bit. And, okay, now let's go down to here. City, St. Augustine, that's going to be updated. Subject is a horse. Um, no, it's not really a horse. Okay, United States, Florida. Uh, roads and highways, and that's snow. Um, I'm going to put, um, what is that? Let me look at the title again. Um Fountain of Youth Entrance. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to put Entrance. Or let me, let me do that. Fountain of Youth Entrance. That should be fine. Okay. Cities and Towns. That's great. Uh, original. You know, see? All this other stuff. Mm -mm. This was the thing that was costing me so much time because before uh, I could literally only list about six cards an hour. Now I can list like 12 or 13. I can, I can double that, which is pretty cool because as you know, the more, more listings you get up on eBay, the more chances you have of having your card seen and sold. Okay. This card is unposted and everything else stays the same. Um, I'm going to ask a little more on this one. It's 75. It's got a lot going on in the photo. And I don't have to worry about anything else. Click on that. And we put that in order. Now, here's one of my favorite subjects. My wife's favorite subject. Pink flamingos. I love pink flamingos. I'm going to do one more here for you. And I'm going to try to really rifle through this one fast. Okay. Um, where's the uh, scanning? There we go. And I'm going to put that in the sleeve. I just want to show you how quickly I can get through these without uh, having to explain it. As long as I don't run into any issues. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to talk much on this one. I'm just going to do it the way I normally do it. Uh, 1975. Good. Okay. Go to Photoshop. And I'm going to pull those images in. There we go. There's that one. Hold down the shift key. Pull those into Photoshop. <clears throat> Here's that. This is why I start with the red channel. Go to hue and saturation. Go reds. Pull all the reds out. Yellows about half. Three quarters. Okay. That's done. Save as. Save over 
yes, K. And I'm gonna look for scan lines. Don't see any. That's good. See, it always doesn't. It doesn't always give you the scan lines. So, which is good. I'm gonna go to um, auto color. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that looks that looks good. File, save as. See, this doesn't take long at all. I mean, some people don't do it, but I just want to give my customers the best I can for what they're purchasing. Okay, so this is in Ialea Park, Miami, Florida. Flamingos. <clears throat> going to go to the last card we did. Uh, I'm going to hit create similar and I'm going to go in and change a few things. Now, if there's a uh, postage mark, these don't have any postage marks on them, but if there's like cancel postage stamp on there or the year, I usually put that right after the word postcard. Like if it's 1948, 1932, whatever. I put that right there, just so you know. Okay, because <clears throat> I usually uh, put that right behind the FL, which is the uh, designated uh, abbreviation for the state of Florida. And I'm going to take all this stuff out. And... Now, this doesn't have a city, does it? Flamingos and, oh, Aaliyah Park. Oh, Miami, Florida. Yes, it does. Okay. I'm going to type in Miami. Oops, come back one. Florida. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is put pink. Flamingos. I'm going to put, tro whoops, tropic. Mm, spell Kenny. Tropic. Gold birds. Okay, I'm gonna put wildlife. They are wildlife. Um, what else we got here? Um, I'm just gonna put scenic view. Let's try to get that word view in there. Okay, I'm gonna click there. Hold the shift key down and select that and hit control c to copy it 1875 right yep okay there's the one yep get those out like i said once you get into a rhythm you can really you can rifle through this stuff pretty quick and it'll still be accurate you know okay i'm gonna look at that I'm going to bring that up. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have motorcycle. And I'm going to sharpen that just a little bit. Get that there. I don't want to over sharpen it. That wouldn't look right. And I'm going to bring this up just a little. Now, I want to show you guys something. Uh, I didn't get a card because one of my subscribers asked me how to do this. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do this since I'm, I'm, you know, working on cards. Uh, he asked me how to use the crop tool. This is the crop tool right here in eBay. Okay, let's say you had, um, I don't know, you want to do a crop of the flamingos up tight. So what you would do, whether it's the front or the back of the cards, anything you want to highlight, what you would do is go into here and then pull, like let's pull... Um, the front back in there and I'm going to drag and drop that over there we go and again we're going to bring this up right and we're going to sharpen it just so it'll kind of match the other card okay let's say I wanted to highlight uh, just a certain section here in the center what you would do is click on the one you know the frame you want to highlight and then just click on the crop tool like that and see it gives you a default square and you can move these parameters anywhere you want, you know, to make the thing bigger or larger. I mean, bigger or larger, bigger or smaller or whatever, you know, whatever size you want. If you want to move the box, you just click in the center and hold it down. You can move the box anywhere you want. Say, if I can move it over here, I can move it over here, I can move it down here, you know, wherever you want it. And like I said, or you can, you know, bring it down. And let's say you wanted to highlight that. And you do that, and then all you got to do is hit save. Just click on save, and boom, there's your zoom right there. Okay. Now I'm not going to leave that there because I don't I don't have a reason for that. I mean, some people do that, 
but I don't do it on every card. What I normally do is I zoom in on like if it has a postmark date or a artist signature or something like that or something maybe some damage on the side that I want to draw attention to to let the buyer know that this card is you know slightly damaged that kind of thing that's why I zoom okay so I'm going to take this out but I just wanted to show you that uh, for all you guys that were wondering how do you use the zoom on on eBay <laughs> I mean you could do this in Photoshop but it's a few more steps and you have to create an, an additional copy and this way is a lot easier okay so I'm going to take that out ah, come on there we go. I just what I normally do is just I you have I've I have front and back. That's that's all I do. Okay, uh, let's go on here. Miami uh bird. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna put bird as a subject here because that's kind of general. I'm gonna put pink flamingos. Okay. Okay, here we go. Miami, uh, United States, Florida. Pink flamingos. Um, instead of cities and towns, what we're going to do is add uh, wildlife to this. And we're going to add that. Okay. And then we go original, and that's it. And then we go scroll down, scroll, scroll, scroll. And I'm going to take this out. This is from the previous template. Control V. Add in the new. And card is unposted. Yes, it is. Okay, pink flamingos. I have sold these at nine seventy-five. Because everybody seems to like pink flamingos. So everything else is the same. I don't have to worry. And here's another thing I've been doing to drive sales right here. And this wasn't something I. I mean, I've only been doing this for like four months. Okay, and that's adding um, the. Um, promoted listings and I put mine at four percent I put everything at four percent regardless of whether eBay um you know said what they suggest I mean on some of my cards they suggest nine and a half percent but I'm not gonna go there I just change it back to four percent and it's been working pretty good for me but you can do what you want you know it's your business and then we're just gonna hit list item and we're gonna list that card okay and that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to show you a few cards and kind of how i go through the step-by-step -step process of adding you know my cards and then what i do also let me just tap on this as well when i'm finished loading uh cards up for the day or just uh, listening you know because i start my day pretty early i mean i start at three in the morning i'm an early riser but um what I do is I will refresh my entire store. And the way you do that is you just click on edit. I'm in my hub now. And we're going to do the first one to 2,000. Okay, I have 2,843 in my store right now. And um, this is the new bulk editor that uh, eBay developed. And sometimes it works okay. Sometimes I get all 2,000. Sometimes I don't, you know. But we're gonna we're waiting. I'm waiting for this to populate down here. It's at 1569, 1739. Um, sometimes it'll grab them all, which is good. And when I do that, I find that uh, a couple hours later, I usually get a sale. All right. And we're gonna select all that, and then right over here, blue tab, so submit all 2,000. Now, I haven't changed anything. I'm just refreshing the entire store. This is what's called doing a store refresh. I mean, people used to do this. You used to have to call eBay, and they would have to do it. But now you could do it. You don't have to bother eBay with that. And it's processing. Now, sometimes, like I said, it'll grab all 2,000. Sometimes it won't. But you just kind of move past that and uh, move on. So it's... Importing and doing all its processing now. Mm -hmm. Anytime this year, guys. Please don't lock up on me. Oh, I'm doing a video, guys. Don't lock up on me. I may have to redo this. See, this has always been a problem with the bulk editor. It gets to a certain point and then it just freezes up and it just won't get past that. Oh, Lord help me. I didn't expect this to happen. I just wanted to quickly show you. Okay, let's go back. 
sometimes you feel sometimes you gotta redo stuff selling sorry about this guys eh, active and we're gonna go down here again we're gonna try this again because it was just locking up sometimes it goes to like if you're trying to list 2000 refresh 2000 cards it'll go to 1999 and it'll lock up <laughs> so here we go let's give it another try yeah this is this was a problem they had with the old one too see now it says one listing was not processed because of server failure whatever that is it's fail you know the server failed and it didn't get it so I, I just click on got it I click here and this time we're going to try for 1999 and let's see how it goes and I hope to God it doesn't lock up a second time I've never had that happen yet but we'll see how it goes there it goes huh. had me scared there I didn't even think it was going to start I told you this was going to be unscripted <laughs> This is like what my day is when I do my listings in the morning. I, I always have a routine that I go through every morning. And sometimes it goes a little bit smoother than other times, and sometimes it doesn't. So it's just all part of being in business for yourself. At least we got a sunny day the next couple of days. Then they said the rain is coming back. Ah, see, we got all 1999 at least. So then we go done. Okay, and then all you got to do after that is <clears throat> come on, eBay, populate the page. Here we go. Is go to the second group from 2001 to 2843. That's where we ended up at. And here we go again. It won't take as long this time because it's only got to go through 843 listings rather than 2,000. There we go. And we just click over here on the left. It selects them all. Submit all 843. And all I'm doing, like I said, I'm not changing anything. I'm just refreshing the store. And like I said, once I when I do that, I usually get a cha-ching a couple hours later on my phone. There it is. Got them all. So I got every single listing except for one. That's not bad. Okay. Now there's one more thing I wanted to show you before we end this up. And this just is in case you have a need for something like this. I'm going to type in, this is in search, so I'm going to type in a uh, lot. And it's going to bring this up. Okay. I'm going to, I'll be right back. This is what happens when you do things unscripted. Ugh. I have no idea where I am in the screen, sorry. But um, this is a, I just wanted to show you guys this in case you had a need. This is a lot that I have up on eBay right now. And it's up to $13.50. I tried selling this at a buy it now. I got no takers. So I decided to um, sell it as a lot. This is over 300 cards, 1920s, 1980s, all different subjects, all different eras. So if you need cards and you'd like to purchase from me, that would be great. Uh, the bidding is up to $13.50 right now. It goes till next Sunday night at about 6 16 p.m. And here's the actual item. It's not going to be shipped, guys. Okay. In a priority mail uh, bubble, um, what do they call it, a padded envelope. That's to keep the cost down. And it's only going to be like $9.95 to ship it. But it's it's sitting here waiting for the winner. So if you have a need, um, this kind of shows you some of the cards. Right here, let me uh, click on this. Oh, there we go. And this just kind of shows you some of the cards. I took these pictures in, in the studio. And some of them were posted. Okay. Enough said about that. Okay, I just wanted to show it to you. Enough about that. Let me go back to where I was. 
it'll go back there we go okay okay guys there it is in a nutshell that's what i do every morning i have a routine i just wanted to kind of bring you behind the scenes kind of show you um what i do and this is what i do every day and uh, you know to make a living and i hope you got something out of this video i hope you enjoyed it um like i said it was completely unscripted off the cuff i just wanted to show you the craziness sometimes you know the way things happen and uh hope you like i said i hope you enjoyed it but i thought i'd do something a little different today okay but if you if you got anything out of this video you know what to do smash that like button i appreciate it. it it really helps the channel welcome to all my new subscribers i'm gonna go but you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video take care and bye for now